Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I hope you had a lovely holiday if you were in the Americas and you have a lovely day shopping today. I know what that's like. Okay, I thought I would make a video today because this is so grand that I wanted to um, give it a little more emphasis um, live, okay? If you notice here, and I'm going to jump right here and then we'll get back to it, our clarifiers here are the Eight of Cups the full card and again as a clarifier we have the eight of coins okay that's what this eight of diamonds is in uh, regular playing cards it's it's our it's our out of the gate energy of the ace of coins okay which is even more powerful than I, I just I knew you guys weren't gonna be satisfied with you know I know the <gasps> when you see the death card but I knew it was good I just needed to show you in a visual and it is okay so there you have it. We have the Ace of Coins as our overall energy, okay? That is the universe handing you health, wealth, and well-being, okay? And telling you to go through the door. Timing is now, okay? You're being handed a gift, all right? If there's something that you wanted to do, clearly there's a direction you wanted to go. Now is the time to do it, okay? You don't need to know exactly where you're going, okay? As comfy as your life is now, and sometimes we choose to stay in situations that just aren't healthy for us, right? On, on many different regards for many different reasons. But this time it's telling you, you know, take this, take the leap of faith because it's going to turn out grand, okay? And it really is, guys. We have the clarifier here that clarifies the energy card. And this is one of the best cards in the deck to get, honestly, okay? It's really the divine. Again, reaching down into your life and saying now is the time, okay? All right. What we have is the... Uh, I'm sorry, the strength card crossed by the death card, okay? What this is, too, is, you know, cut yourself some slack here. We are all on a spiritual journey, right? We are. We're, we're, we hold ourselves, though, to these, you know, pedestals that are just impossible to keep up with. We're on a spiritual journey. That's what we're all here for, to, to you know, grow and expand and, and all of that. But we're also human, okay? So... We have to incorporate that aspect of ourselves. And sometimes that's not lovely, you know, but we have to accept it. And that is, you know, we're here, we're on a spiritual journey, we're a good person, we're supposed to be loving, caring, happy all the time. <laughs> that's impossible uh, to, to live up to. We need to accept the fact that, you know what, sometimes we screw up. Sometimes we do things that we know we shouldn't do, but we do them anyway, okay? That's accepting all parts of yourself. That's where the strength card comes in, okay? And it's a never-ending journey here. The death card is crossing that, showing you that, you know, we learn as we go. So we, you know, do these things and we learn to not do them. That's what the devil card is. I'm sorry, the death card is here. When we know better, we do better, right? That's all that that is, okay? It's a different way of thinking. It's letting go of something, whatever, all right? It applies to many different people for many different things. But the process needs to be kind, okay? Be kind, okay? Um, the outcome card, nine of coins, okay? This, you skipped through just with that one little tweak of a mindset, right? Or letting something go that you've held on to for a while or that crappy job because you had financial responsibilities. Once you take the breath and you walk through the door, you skip the two through the eight and you jump right to the nine, okay? That's how powerful this is. And that's why I'm making the video today instead of, a, you know, a note. So the nine is, again, it's the end of a cycle, okay? It's the winding down. It's like the holy crap, I can't believe that now this is my life and all these years I've been doing this. Just terrified, right? So you take the leap of faith and you jump right to the nine. That again, health, wealth, and well-being, financial security. And more so, it's also what you gain here by that little mind tweak is that you're content you're happy. It's not about just the finances. It's about happy health. It's about being content. It's about free time, right? It's about not having to, to always be on the go doing something because you've got, you know, other responsibilities. The nine of cups also is the, you know, revelation that it's not so much the financial part of it, so to speak. It's what does that afford me? It affords me to sleep later, to spend more time with my family, to breathe, to take a day here, a day there, vacations. It, it just affords you things that uh, it's freedom, okay? Financial freedom. It's, it's just, it's, it's really enjoying life on all fronts. And that's what it is, okay? 
the fool card here shows up because it's time to go in a different direction. A choice needs to be made, and that's what you do. The Eight of Cups also, when you look at that as the clarifier, it's it's leaving something that is not emotionally fulfilling, okay? And everything we do is on a passion desire front. Everything, guys, okay? So when you, you align yourself with the things that really do matter for you, all the doors open, okay? This is phenomenal, all right? All right, I hope you have a lovely holiday weekend, and um, I will talk to you again soon. Thank you so much.